Yes, love, I'm looking at them now. Wow. What a bunch of whoppers they are. But... How about that? And... <gasps> We've got melons! It's bizarre. They stayed like that. They've been like that for... for weeks. And then suddenly, just over this week, they've just, um... grown. Amazing. But the greenhouse is looking really nice. Look at this. Loads of toms. Uh, we got absolutely loads at home. That's for the cucumber plants. They are just producing and producing. So we only got two cucumber plants in here, but my word, the whoppers we are getting off them. Yeah, got two down here, still growing. Uh, Mr. Melon here. Um, What's he done? Anything yet? I know down the other greenhouse there are some, but I'll take you and show you them later on. Because today is going to be a busy day. I'll tell you what. I'm looking I've not shown you. Is uh, this rogue little tomato plant we've had come up. Uh, it's not just come out of nowhere, because like I said, we've only ever grown onions and that in here. Never grown tomatoes, and he's just grown. Out of nowhere. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. Unbelievable. So I thought, uh, yeah, let's keep him thriving. It'd be a shame to get rid of him. So we, we got that one there, and obviously the ones I've planted over here. But look at the colour of these tomatoes. Look at them. They just don't look edible, do they? I don't know. We've taken one off and cut it in half and it's very green inside. It came out a little bit of a taste and said they are vile, so mm, they don't taste like tomatoes. So what are they? I mean this we grow this from the packet of seeds that obviously we got from, from Hoshi. So um mm, I know you can get these different coloured varieties, but uh bizarre. Yeah, look at the apple tree. Unbelievable. What a crop we've got this year. But yeah, as I was mentioning, it's a real busy one today, so I thought I'd get the um the uh get the camera looking at me. The um the start out the way while I'm still quite uh fresh. Because when you see me later on I'm gonna be absolutely probably covered in sweat. So what we're doing is we are finishing off Kim's botanical garden. Um, and I'll show you that at the end of the video. So if you can't wait till then, skip right to the end and have a look. Um, but if you want to stay, then stay and uh, I'll see you after the start. Sequence, intro, thingy me bob, this thing. It's just a jungle of melons in here. It's a jungle of melons. I think we got a little melon over here. There you go, look. One there. But they are all over this. A couple in the corner over there. What are we going to do with all these melons? Looking good. Another little one there. But they're uh, starting to climb up the um, chilli pepper plants now. Mm. Mm. Still looking good. Right, we're going to do the first potato reveal, aren't we, babes? So we're going to just do, the, do a little bit of an experiment here, because if you notice, if you remember, sorry, 
them ones we dug as in a trench, them ones there. And then the one, all the ones after we've done as with the little dibby tool. So let's have a look. Let's have a look, see what, uh, what the difference is, right? See so if we get more with my method or more with uh, Swery's dibby dabby tool. Well, they Sally, don't they? I don't know. What's this? Pick up the sign. Salad. Pentlin Javelin Salad. Right. It's always a good start. I think you should have wetted them first. There's no potato reveal today. There we go then, three rows. Three rows. Right, so we'll call that a day. No one's going for tea. I bet you're all yawning now. I know you're not being tired now. <laughs> so we'll end it there. Uh, I'll leave you with um, what we've been doing down in Kim's garden. So uh, until next week, see you later. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you for liking us. 
I'm so sorry, babe. Is, is that enough? Just go get all this polythene covered. See? The jobs are endless. <laughs>